today we found ourselves at Momsen Stadion to see Tennis Borussia entertain Energy Cottbus on match day 11 of the Regionalliga Nordost. So here is an overview of the outside of the stadium. They call it the casino, very impressive. This is one of Berlin's oldest and coolest stadiums. And outside a lot of stadiums in Berlin, you might find this. It's called the Fussball Route Berlin, and it gives you information about the stadium and the club that plays there and all about their history. It's very, very cool. Right, we're about 25 minutes or so away from kickoff here at Monsen Stadion, and for some reason they're not letting any of the away fans in, and there's been a few restless voices, and uh, yeah, no one really knows what's going on. But yeah, the game kicked off in about 25 minutes, so I'll do the introduction from here. Now, Tennis Borussia, they were founded in 1902, so they've got a long-standing history in the German football pyramid. And in the 1970s, they were actually in the Bundesliga, so they are somewhat of a fallen giant. And this season, they have not started too well. They only have four points in the opening 10 games, so they'll be looking for a big three points today. But massive test against Enigy Cottbus, who, after a slow start to the season, well, they've really kicked on. And a win today would take them within five points of leaders BR Cardinals even. So, yeah, big game for both sides today for different reasons at both ends of the table. So I'm being joined by Nico ahead of today's game in front of the Energy Cup bus team bus. And Nico, after a slow start to the season, Energy Cup bus have really started to pick up results over the past few weeks. So what do you make of their season so far? And what do you think uh, of the prospects for today? Well, it's a must win, I think. If you look at the you know, standings, it's the second last team. And yeah, I, I just hope for a, for a good performance. The last games were pretty good, actually. Like, better, way better than I expected. Um, and yeah, I, I hope it will be a good win. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm exciting. It, it's perfect weather actually. I can't believe it. That's true. <laughs> and, uh, I just hope for a great game. And uh, yeah, I hope you will visit me at Cottbus, and then I. Yes, we do another video. Yes, <laughs> since our last time, Nico has become the stadion speaker at Cottbus, so we will go over to Cottbus. And Nico, thank you for your time and good luck today. Yes. All right, finally in time for today's game. Thousands of Cottbus fans down the other end. Both teams are out on the warm ups. Got Tennis Brussy here in front of me. And Enigy Cottbus down the other end. Perfect weather for a game today. So as you might be able to tell, I'm in the home end now, in the, with the home fans, because uh, I was politely asked not to go into the away end or take any pictures of Cottbus fans. So I do respect the culture, but also I wish I could say more. But yeah, I'm in the home end today instead, and uh, about 15 minutes or so away from kickoff here at Mumsen Stadium. In fact, the police are starting to come in as well, just behind me. So uh, yeah, big game ahead. Been a bit of a chaotic start, but yeah, big game ahead here at Mumsen Stadium today in German fourth division, the Regional League at Nord Off. Just seen a copy of the team sheets for today's game. That's pretty cool. They also have a load of old retro tennis Borussia shirts as well for sale in there. It's a really, really cool little clubhouse they have here. <laughs> about 10 minutes here so far it's a really scrappy scrappy game and uh Cottbus are doing all the attacking at the moment but yeah still not many chances and you can see that tennis Borussia are basically set out to try and play on the counter attack but yeah still nil nil 10 minutes gone free kick here for Cottbus in a very dangerous position In. 12 minutes played, 1 0 to Energy Cutbus. That's why the 19 people are shooting at the end of the first step on the field, so they still can shoot in. And the number 10 is in the end of the first step, they are going to shoot in the end of the first step. So we've played about half an hour or so here. 
Oh, Cutbush just had one cleared off the line, but yeah, it's still 1 0 here. Tennis Bush here slowly starting to creep into the game, but honestly, it is all Enigy Cutbush and the class might be too much for Tennis Bush here today, but yeah, still an hour left of this game, so yeah, plenty of time for them to get back into it. It's half time here. Mums and Sadio. <coughs> So it's half time here at Mamsen Stadion and just one goal in the game so far and that has gone to FC Energy Cup bus about 12 minutes into the game and to be honest they have been the dominant side but they have not added to their tally so as long as it stays 1-0 Tennis Borussia have always got a chance of getting back into this game and they sporadically got forward but not had any real chances as of yet but uh, yeah still a big second half coming up here at Mamsen Stadion Players are coming back out now for the second half. Here come the cut bus team. They just emerged from the dressing rooms. Yeah, big second half coming up for both sides in the regional league and order. And here come tennis for us here. And the second half is underway. It's a well worked goal. And Cup Bus fans are in full voice. 2 0 now to Energy Cup Bus. That was a decent, well worked goal, actually, to be fair. Cut across and into an open goal. And Energy Cup Bus now have a 2 0 lead, and it's a long way back for Tennis Borussia. I think they have a player injured just behind me there, so yeah, still about half an hour to go here in the second half. And the injured player is still being treated on the pitch, he's been down for about 10 minutes now, so yeah, hopefully he recovers and he's not too serious. And the referee's actually taking the players off the pitch, I think this is a really bad injury to be honest. Now an ambulance has just arrived at the ground for the player, still no idea what's exactly happened. Does look pretty bad to be honest. So the game has been stopped now for about 15 minutes or so. Um, I look back at my footage that I had and I didn't see anything happen, so it's a really, really bad uh, issue here at Mums and Stadium. But uh, yeah, and they made an announcement that maybe the game's going to get back underway, but we're going to see what happens in the next few minutes. But, uh, yeah, there's two ambulances here and it's a very sad sight to hear at Mums and Stadio. second half. He gets the game back underway. Uh, it's a red card for the tennis Borussia goalkeeper. This game has gone from bad to worse for T TB. Cup bus fans saying, our feed are saying. And tennis Borussia are going to have to play the last 20 minutes with 10 men. So just after the referee had announced it's going to be 27 minutes of injury time, the tennis Borussia goalkeeper has seen a red card for a last-ditch challenge to stop Cutler scoring a third goal. So yeah, 
one of the most eventful places I've ever been to in my entire life. I don't even know if Tennis Borussia have a substitute goalkeeper. I'm just waiting to see what happened. Honestly, so much has happened here today. It's insane. But yeah, still about 20 minutes to go. And Tennis Borussia are actually bringing on a goalkeeper. So yeah, I've got a feeling this game might go from bad to worse for them. But yeah, here comes the goalkeeper now. And yeah, still about 20 minutes to go. Insanity. Three nil again, cut bus. There might be more goals to come yet. It's now three 0 to Energy Cup bus, and as I said earlier, tennis brush and I out of ten men, so yeah, it might be a long last fifteen minutes for them. And the referee has just issued. Another record. Yeah. Well, another tennis for us here, player. And now down to nine men. Honestly, you name it, and it has happened in this stadium this afternoon. Tennis for us here now down to nine. A couple of fans have enjoying themselves over there. Leaving the ground now. Right, so where do I start with that one? You name it, it happened today, honestly. Insanity is not the word. Uh, first of all, I was supposed to be in the away end with the Cottbus fans, but I was approached by an unnamed ultra and uh, they're not happy about cameras and basically whatever I do, do you know what I mean? I do respect the culture. Uh, coming from England, it's completely different, but I do respect the culture here and I do have respect for that, so. I decided to go in the home end instead to stop them not crying and whinging. Well, we live in a world now where everyone's fucking whinging and crying about something, don't, aren't they? So, yeah, I decided to go in the home end and uh, on the pitch, any good cop with a better side, don't get me wrong. Uh, tennis Borussia, it's going to be a long, hard season for them and uh, they've got a lot of work to do if they want to stay in the regional league and Nordos this season. And any good cop bus, it's a fine win for them. And it puts them back in the promotion hunt, just five points behind BR Carnal Zeeb and the leaders. And uh, yeah, the talking point is obviously going to be what happened to the tennis Borussia player. Hopefully he's okay and uh, best wishes to him and his family if anyone's watching. So nobody likes to see that kind of thing on a football pitch. So yeah, that's going to be the main talking point from today's game. And yeah, that's actually going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching this. And uh, yeah, insanity is not the word. I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.